Welcome back to Jetline Marvel for another thrilling aviation episode. The Yakovlev JSC built SJ100 Superjet made history by successfully completing its first flight in Russia. The Russian Ministry of Industry and Trade acknowledged this significant development, adding that the test flight verified the plane's overall stability, steady functioning, and stable handling. The ability to implement and install their own design solutions and technologies such as avionics, gear, auxiliary power units, electric power supply systems, air conditioning, fire prevention, and other systems, was demonstrated by Russian developers and producers. The second prototype will shortly start testing with locally built PD-8 engines, which are now undergoing tests on a stand and inside the Ilyushin Il-76LL Flying Laboratory. The ministry added that the first prototype used Powerjet SAM-146 French-Russian engines in order to speed up the trial program. On the Superjet, around 40 different systems and components were changed. During its 54-minute duration, the flight climbed to heights of up to 3,000 meters and reached speeds of 343 kilometers per hour. The crew performed a stability and controllability, checked the aircraft while it was in the air, a check of the automatic pressure, control system in the cabin, a cloud landing, and a go-around approach by the flying mission. The first flight of the Superjet developed as part of the import. Substitution program for systems and components is the result of thousands of people working for companies in the radio electronic and aviation manufacturing sectors who are a member of Rostex control system. The aircraft's avionics, landing gear, auxiliary power unit, integrated control system, power supply systems, air conditioning, fire protection, and many other systems were all developed and installed by Russian manufacturers and developers. The first flight of the SJ-100 demonstrated the nation's capacity to develop its aerospace industry without the assistance of Western nations, demonstrating that Russia can develop and produce modern civil aircraft without involving imported technologies. The next challenging task is to certify the aircraft with a wholly Russian appearance and begin serial deliveries to the airline. Additionally, according to the reports, the CEO of United Aircraft Corporation is planning to begin SSJ-100 production at the Hindustan Aeronautics Limited plant in India, and negotiations are currently underway with Indian colleagues. It seems that negotiations are even more in the interest of the Indian side than Russians, because Russian have the super jet and will continue its production. For India, this represents a significant technological leap forward. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts about Russian SJ-100 aircraft in the comments section.